Being healthy today, a new stomach bug is spreading in the U.S. as we simultaneously battle that bad flu season. Like the flu, the norovirus mutates quickly, resulting in a new strain every few years. And every year, more than 21 million Americans become infected. Approximately 800 people die. This morning on Good Morning America, ABC's chief medical editor talked about how best to prevent the spread of this illness. This is one of the most contagious viruses we deal with, and so you have to be meticulous to avoid getting it. You know, if you're living with someone who has it or if you're in contact, hand washing is key. And this is one where soap and water is the way to go. Alcohol gels don't really work. So Purell doesn't work. Purell doesn't work. This virus is nasty. You want to make sure you're cleaning surfaces with, with, with cleaners that contain bleach, and so you want to read the label. If, if, if it doesn't have bleach, you can mix up bleach and water. And then if, if someone has this, they can't prepare food while they have it or for three days afterwards because right. it is that contagious. And there's no vaccine for this, so this is on you to wash your hands. That's right. No vaccine, services. no real treatment except fluids. You want to prevent dehydration, so right. plenty of fluids while you have this. Norovirus typically begins very suddenly and lasts one to three days. The disease is most severe in the elderly and young children. Researchers are working on a norovirus vaccine, but most experts say that that's about 10 years away. A Colorado baby battling infant botulism is doing a little better this morning, we're happy to report. This is a new photo of Kiona Hinkle. Now, we've learned she's no longer dependent on a feeding tube. While only a week ago, she was struggling just to breathe. Her parents found out she had a rare form of botulism, which can be caused when a baby eats honey or is exposed to dust particles with the bacteria. Later today, do you have a nagging feeling that something's not right? Dr. Oz will show how to use your sixth sense to predict your health. That's at 4 on Denver 7.